well, Justin, describe the emotions in the rooms. How do you sum that up? Oh, it's pretty special. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the players, yeah, were overwhelmed, really. Like, um, yeah, to, to do what we did tonight, it takes a lot of belief, takes a lot of maturity, and, uh, yeah, it takes a, takes a fair bit of guts, really. So, um, yeah, we've been working on our mental skills for, you know, three years since I've got here. Um, and it, for moments like this where you feel like you're done, but you stick to the task and you try and claw, some, claw your way back into it. So, um, yeah, I'm so proud of the players. What sort of belief can that buy a group with potentially three games left in a final series? Uh, oh, ho hopefully a lot. And um, hopefully, hopefully it's, already, it's already there because you don't come back from 41 points down, I think it was, without belief already there. So um, they've got a lot of belief in our footy. Um, you know, clearly we need to start better, but um, the belief's there. Yep. What, where did you put that start down to? Well, we, we, didn't, we didn't handle the contest well. And, um, yeah, we, uh, we fumbled. Um, their pressure was a lot better than ours, but I, I thought the way we used the ball invited their pressure. We tried to handball over and once we started trying to drive our legs and take the game on and, and force them to actually stick good tackles, the game opened up for us. But, mm. yeah, we were just way too safe in the contest, fumbly, and um, they, they, they burn us on the turnover. Yep. And, um, yeah, uh, like I said, we stuck to it, fixed a few things up and um, ground our way back into it. Yeah, for, for Jai to miss that first one and then recover from that and be... Now a couple of really important ones. What, what does that show for his character? And oh, it just shows his, his methods right. And um, now he, I don't know whether I've seen a young player come in and work so meticulously on their goal kicking and never wastes a shot at training. Uh, has a really strong routine. And he has a lot of belief in his goal kicking. So um, he wouldn't have been dented by the first shot at all. Um, yeah. How, much, how difficult was it weighing up that decision to play him or, or somebody else, given... We know what he can do, but he's also only played one game. Uh, there wasn't, it wasn't that, yeah, it wasn't that big a decision to be honest. Uh, we thought we needed another marking target. We thought we needed um, a, a taller forward who um, leads at the foot really well against the Bulldogs, and uh, yeah, he was he was the one. So uh, it was whether we thought he was ready in terms of fitness wise, and you know he, he blew the GPS up last week um, at Peel. Um, which showed, which gave us good, um, good confidence in his um, fitness, and uh, yeah, he's, he did his job tonight. He was, he, was, he was really good. You've shown so much faith in all of your young guys ever since you, you joined the club. Do you feel like when you see Sarong and Brayshaw play like they did tonight as well, that you know, the way you've invested in those in that youth is really paying off now? Oh, I think it is paying off. Uh, yeah. It's, they, they've earned their positions and earned, earned their opportunities to play um, in positions that impact the game. Uh, and, uh, yeah, they've benefited, benefited from given, been given the opportunity. They've also benefited, of the, benef, benefited from the hard work they've done. Like, uh, you know, Caleb and Andy, to do what they did tonight is a reflection of how hard they work on their craft, how hard they work on their fitness. Um, and how determined they are as footballers to be the best, to be, to be their best selves, um, and to be able to have games like they did on the big stage is, yeah, credit to their own work ethics. You mentioned the mental stuff. Get How did you approach halftime, Justin? Does the, the desperation after that point seem to go to another level? Well, the halftime was reasonably easy because it, it, the tide had turned in my eyes, and uh, I thought I thought our whole second quarter was was pretty good. Uh, it was better than the first. Uh, even though they kicked the first, uh, I thought we created some opportunities. And um, once we started getting the game played in our front half and bringing our forward pressure, uh, the scoreboard started to turn. And we'd already kicked four goals by four goals in a row by half time. So half time, the belief was strong. Um, so the players, the players turned it around, not the coach. One of those desperate moments was Michael Frederick in the fourth quarter. How significant did you view that moment? Uh, yeah, I thought. I thought all our small forwards were desperate, and that's probably what got us back in the game. I thought Sonny was desperate all night and uh, hit the scoreboard and will um, get the pats on the back for his work on scoreboard. But some of the contests he gave, um, the relentless pressure he, he put on, and, and Freddie was the same. So was Switter, so was um, Lockie Schultz. Uh, yeah, they, they were all desperate.
Justin, can you quantify what 59,000 fans in purple can do for you when you're coming in those second and third terms like you did? Oh, no, not really. Um, it's, it's a lot quieter in the coach's box. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm sure our players, um, yeah, got some benefit out of the crowd tonight. And I'm sure it has an impact on the opposition when the crowd is that one-sided and, and a team's coming. It just, um, yeah, obviously gives us something, but also takes it a little bit away from the opposition. So, um, yeah, they got us over the line. And how do you approach the challenge next week at a huge game at the G? Uh, same as we've embraced every away trip this this year. Like we've won, I think, seven, seven, seven games. Had a draw on the road. Um, you know, we feel like we're a good travelling team. Mm -hmm. uh, it's going to be a big challenge and one that we're we're ready for. We've won our only game at the MCG this year, so um, our players should go with a lot of confidence. Uh, the biggest crowd that most of have ever played in front of and, and at the G where they have barely where most of your guys have barely played well do you think that will have any impact on them even just in the week building up to it thinking about it uh hopefully not hopefully not we've got um 23 players with finals experience now so they should be able to handle it uh yeah it's going to be a different challenge and um you know uh, the magpie army you know will be out in full force and um they'll be yes yeah, strongly behind their team but yeah, it's another great experience for our players. Is, is that five any chance at all this uh, next week? Uh, not next week. Okay. No. Um, Tabitha was supposed to be making a, a, looking at making a return. Does Jai's performance tonight make that a little bit more difficult? Uh, well, Tabs has got to play tomorrow in the waffle, and um, we'll see how he goes. Uh, yeah, that Jai's performance, uh, yeah, was was great. And um, we couldn't probably have asked for much more out of him. So, um, yeah, we'll work that out during the week. I probably you know, won't touch on selection now. But, yeah, Jai played well, so I'm not sure his spot's up for grabs. Like Nathan, step up in that moment and slot that goal. I mean, we're talking about a kid with not a lot of experience, but it's it's not a flute. You know, he's done it before, yeah. you know, at this ground. What do you put that down to? Um, I'm not sure. He's got, a, he's got a knack for knowing where the goals are. Uh, yeah, no, it was, the thing that I loved about it was he um, committed to the shot early. He showed really good composure to, to settle himself. And, um, yeah, to knock it over was, was great. And, um, yeah, you're right, it's not a fluke. He's done it plenty of times for us, nearly in every game he's played. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say Is that. Is that the sort of thing that, like, lifts the team? Obviously, oh, it was yeah. such an impact. Well, an important time of the game. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know, so, something about Driz. He does lift those around him. Um, probably not for the goals. Uh, I think his teammates love playing with him because he's just a, he's an effort player and um, there's not a contest or a, or, a, or a rep in his role where he just doesn't give his all. And, um, yeah, it's good to see him get rewarded. Because how bad was that injury? You know, he obviously limped from the field and was able to come back out. And Yeah, I think it's standard ankle. Um, not take anything away from him, but he was moving really well and functionally really good after he came back on. So, yeah, he's a he's a tough country boy, and um, yeah, he knows how to he knows how to grind it out. What's the balance, Justin, between celebrating a special win like tonight and getting focused on the MCG? Uh, we'll we'll go through the same routine as we we have all year. Um, you know, we've got to celebrate the wins, and especially a win like that, you got to you got to celebrate it. Um, so yeah. We'll um, let the boys enjoy it, um, come in, review it on Monday and reset and look to go again. You normally give them the day off after a normal game. But give it and it's a final and you want to seize that momentum of it. Do you, do you want them together tomorrow? Do you want them to oh, recover together, do stuff together tomorrow? Or do you want them to go out with their families and, and be what they have been all year? No, yeah, I think um, humans and play, in, um, AFL players in particular love routine. So I don't think we need to change anything because we have a good, good finals win. Give them tomorrow off. Um, you know, there's some pretty tired boys that will need to do a lot of recovery tomorrow. Uh, I'm sure you'll see a lot of them down at Peel um, cheering on the, on the Peel boys. And, um, yeah, we'll get in there Monday and review it and move on. <coughs> Good on you guys. Thank you. Thank you.